Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here at my next Star Wars Rebels episode review. This one's for Season 3, Episode 18, Secret Cargo. Uh, overall, a uh, very enjoyable episode. Uh, not going to say it's one of the best of like the entire series or even the entire season, uh, in that it didn't feel like crazy important, but it was just important enough that I, that I kind of did really appreciate what the episode was trying to do. There was a lot of nice action, some nice uh, kind of space battles that, uh, you know, we don't get a lot of ones that you would consider like really good. They they all tend to roughly blend together for me a lot of the times, the space battles. This one was actually interesting because we got to see Ezra um, obviously be a pilot properly for like one of the first times ever. I don't really remember him. I think we've known he can pilot ships. But I don't. I didn't think we knew that he was like skilled enough to like be a kind of fighter, basically, uh, uh, kind of like a Luke Skywalker type thing. But kind of just saying that basically Hera has been training Ezra to get to this point, and him proving himself here with some very kind of uh, clever maneuvers and how good he is was actually really cool to see. It added an extra dynamic in that. Oh, someone new kind of piloting a ship uh, in a in a. Starfighter battle was really nice to see. Um, <clears throat> beyond that, the core of the episode was obviously about uh, Mon Mothma finally speaking out against the Empire and her needing to kind of get safely to a kind of rendezvous point to kind of bring the rebellion together. And it definitely, for me, it, this episode kind of marked the kind of point where, like, from the start of this series to now, you can see what all of those more minor episodes before. The episodes where they get a little bit of plan, some plans here, they get a ship here, uh, they inspire this group of rebels here. This is kind of where it's all beginning to come together. We're starting to see all the different rebel kind of groups come together and the rebel alliance is kind of really starting to like form. That episode one, it, it, it was nowhere near this big and now it actually feels like it's getting to the point where it's going to become a threat to the Empire by the time of A New Hope. So, uh, in that sense, I think the longer scale planning of the series is actually working out quite well at this point. Um, it just, obviously, episode to episode hasn't been the most exciting thing to see. Um, because we haven't seen as many big episodes. Um, so, this one, like, Mon Mothma, in terms of her character within the episode, I, I don't think she's ever really meant to be presented as, like, the most fascinating character that we know of, but just this idea that she really, really sees what the Empire is doing is wrong, and is not just happy with having her position as senator and going along with it, in that if she didn't speak out against the Emperor, she probably could have lived a very comfortable life just as part of the Empire, but she believes enough in the fact that something needs to change, that she's willing to put herself at risk and, you know, properly join the Rebellion here, leave the, the Senate, and I suppose officially announced to some degree to the, the the rebels that like it's happening now that this is the point at which the rebel alliance is properly going to become a big thing and we are outwardly going to oppose um, the empire not just as a couple of rebel cells but as a group an organization a counter organization to the empire that's what we're going to do here so that was um th that was a kind of big moment for me um as some people I think may not consider it as big as maybe I do, but I, I, I did note this one as being like, yes, they, they, they've actually done something quite notable here and I appreciate it for that. Uh, the remaining people within Gold Squadron, I assume we may see them again uh, in that they obviously have two new models and the, the pilot that was knocked out, she, it seems like she's going to get like a, probably one or a, a moment or two maybe in the future, We're probably going to get to see her fly at some point. Go later, uh, I assume we'll see, see again as well. And I suppose we'll see Ezra uh, do more flying in the future also. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I really don't think there's a lot to like talk about in terms of the details of this episode. You have Thrawn further being able to continuously plan out and realize what exactly the rebels are trying to do. And so he knows that, okay, they're, they're going to basically use the smuggler's route. So you go here, cut them off. So that when they come out, they're going to encounter you. And he, he got that right. That the, the rebels were in some really, really tough situations here. Um, with regards to them sending in the prototype TIE Defender. 
and that giving them an advantage in the nebula and then when they came out them having to go for the desperation move of basically setting off the nebula, nebula by firing into it and taking out the star destroyers in that way so there was some really really nice animation on like the particle effects as the kind of nebula exploded and caused damage to the star destroyers and also when they were in there just the the effect that they had on the ships where you could see that like this is crazy like radiation coming through and it was they're just barely keeping the ships uh, together so uh, the the flying was a little bit more intense than we usually get in the episodes which I did appreciate um, and of course you know as I said before um, getting to see Ezra do like be really impressive in terms of his flying skills was nice to see that he's really kind of becoming somewhat of a complete kind of fighter he can he I suppose we haven't really seen him do anything like massively crazy with regards to his lightsaber dueling, but we may see that uh, in the next couple of episodes. But we, we know he's getting to that point. He's super skilled. He can use the force really well. And now he's get, developing the, um, the the piloting skills as well. And um, Hera was interesting in the episode. You know, getting to see that okay, she's she's taught Ezra some skills in piloting, but. You know, I, I still don't think she's a massively well-developed character overall. Nothing really stands out all that much with regards to, like, she's done some big stuff within the series up to now. She's there as kind of one of the key figures of our group, the, the connection of the group to the Empire, to the Rebellion, basically. And in that sense, she's always important as the key pilot character, but... I still think we're missing a little bit of development with her. They've, they've kind of kept her and Kanan apart relatively for most of the series, whereas I, I think a lot of people would like to see their relationship developed a bit more. But um, I'm just going to end the video there. There's, I, I really think this is a fairly straight-to-the-point episode. Uh, it's notable for the big moment of like the, the rebel forces is bigger than we thought, and we're probably going to build up to some really big Empire vs. Rebellion battle at the end of the se season. But... The contents of this episode were just like, they saved my Mothma, and that's fine. Next week's episode, I'm not particularly excited about, in that it looks like the Empire are going to try and figure out, okay, there's been a droid that's been kind of getting into our systems, basically every time something bad has happened, we need to figure out who it is, and so they're basically trying to figure out that Chopper is indeed the one that they've been using, so... A chopper-focused episode, it depends obviously on what other characters are involved in it and how they go about doing it. But if it's just like the Clone Wars did, basically almost once or twice a season, a droid-centric episode, I'm not particularly excited for this. Thankfully, Twin Sons is coming up very quickly, and I'm crazy excited for that episode. But um, before then... I, th I think we're going to have to get through the next week, the next week's episode. So in the comments, let me know what your thoughts were on this episode and the review. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.